Hello friends, Pushkar here. In this video, we will see how a UDP protocol works by creating a chatting application by using raw UDP protocol. In this video, we will create a UDP server on a remote host and use my MacBook as a UDP client. We'll also use Wireshark to analyze UDP datagrams. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let me first explain you the setup. The rightmost terminal, this terminal is the remote server. I have already SSH into this remote server and the local IP address is this one. And the bottom right terminal is my MacBook terminal. Okay. And this uh, left side uh, window is Wireshark. Okay. As you can, you can see the uh, various uh, packets uh, that are going from my laptop and coming to my machine. Okay. Coming to my laptop. Okay. So let first uh, uh, see the public IP of the remote server. Okay. So the, to get the public IP of the remote server, I will use the curl command. So curl ifconfig.me. Okay. So as you can see, the public IP address of this server is uh, this one. So let's filter the packets. Okay. So IP address. And let's filter it with this one. Okay. So now, so now this Wireshark will show all the packets that coming to coming uh, to my machine or going to from my Mac to this remote server. Okay. So let's create a, a UDP client, okay. UDP, not UDP client, UDP server on the remote host to create the UDP server. I will use again uh, the netcat. Okay. The netcat utility function. So netcat um, hyphen L and hyphen P. Okay. So this, the netcat command by default, create a TCP server. Okay. At the port 3000. Okay. And this hyphen L is for listen. So since we want to create a UDP, so I will, I will send, I will use a, another option called hyphen U. Okay. So now it will create a UDP uh, server. Okay. Let's make it verbose. So as you can see, it is now listening to port uh, 3000. Okay. So let's filter this to this 3000 only. So the Wireshark will, will show only the UDP, uh, pack, UDP datagram. So, and you udp dot port equal equals to 3000 okay so now this will show you all the packets okay um coming from or to this uh, remote server with pro, uh, with port 3000 okay so now let's create a udp uh, client from my laptop from my macbook okay so to create the udp client i will again use the netcat command and hyphen u and now I need the remote uh, server IP address. So that will be like 54.208.79.53. Okay. And the port, port is 3000. Okay. So with this, once I press the enter, um, now uh, there will be an active UDP client for from my laptop that is connecting to uh, this uh, remote server. Okay. So, let me first I press the enter. Okay. As you can see, there is no packet created. Okay. In the TCP uh, initial handshake start. So if you remember it from my pre previous video, if a TCP client is created first, a TCP connection is established, then only TCP client is created. But in UDP, there is no initial connection required. Okay. So no sync, no sync act in this case. Okay. But now there is an active connection. Not, not an active connection, but there will be a communication channel created between uh, my machine to the remote server. Okay. So let's uh, communicate. So let's say hi. Okay. So once I press hi, okay, this uh, hi string H I, okay, is converted into the binary and then a, a datagram with the uh, destination IP address as this. Okay. And it then leaves from my laptop and then uh, gets arrived to this remote server. Okay. So let's see if I press the enter. So yeah, as you can see at, uh, okay. I have a zoomed, uh, okay. So the source is my laptop. Okay. And the destination is this one protocol is UDP and there is a three length character. Okay. Three, uh, three, three byte. Okay. And that three byte is one byte for H one byte for I and one byte for space. There is a space at the end of each string. Okay. In UDP. So as you can see this, uh, UDP, uh, datagram has left my laptop and has arrived to this remote server. Okay. Now 
if remote server also responds okay hello then a udp datagram from this uh, remote server is created and then arrive to my laptop and that will shown as the uh, output in this uh, right bottom right terminal okay so if i press the enter in the remote server hello so as you can see there is a, a datagram packet from this remote server to my machine okay and it has six uh, byte data okay that's hello so as you can see it has arrived to my uh, machine okay my macbook and if i terminate the tcp if i can terminate the udp connection okay there is no extra packet sent from my machine to the remote server okay the remote server is still actively listening to port 3000 okay but in tcp tcp is a connection oriented if client connect if client terminates or if server terminates the entire connection is terminated but in udp it isn't okay so if i create another uh, connection okay not another connection but if i try to reconnect with it okay it should accept okay so if i say hi okay so it isn't okay but ideally it should okay see the destination is unreachable okay so the reason for this is the netcat implementation of udp is linked to a particular ip address so uh, source ip address and the port so here the source is my mac but port has changed if you see in the packet the initial packet the initial port my laptop was using was 64905 but this time okay but this time it used 50 54000 uh, 544 okay this is different so i need to use the previous port the exactly same port then only i will able to connect with it okay and communicate so let's create with that port only so i will use a hyphen p for if specifying the source port so source port i will use 64905 um, okay so now now this will send the datagram with this port so now if i say hey i'm back okay as you can see the message has left from my laptop and has arrived to the destination okay and um, this is a um, distributed interaction submission okay but yeah it's still uh, the udp protocol and the message have arrived to the destination okay and now he now the remote server also can communicate so if, uh, let's say the remote server is saying welcome back okay so now you can see the uh, again even after the connection is terminated or the host goes down if it's come back and again try to reach the udp server with the same ip address and same port then also the communication will uh, take place okay because the server uh, doesn't get terminated uh, based on the client this is what in this video i hope you like this video in the next video i will show you how to create a udp client and udp server and tcp client tcp server by using java network programming that is by using java sockets okay till then take care bye